All right, I'm Boo Lee. Tell you like a G-O go. Let's face it, Facebook family, YouTube family. Here in Houston, we didn't have any winner at all. We had one week of winner. You didn't even have to put on a coat this winter. So therefore, what, what happened? What are you saying, Bully? That that Gulf of Mexico had never had any cold water. And, and then here it is in February, it's 70, 80 degrees. March is 80, 90 degrees. May, June, July, it's 100, 90 degrees. So that Gulf of Mexico water was ready for something like this to happen. Plus, it had been nine years since we had a major hurricane. But this flooding is what we want to talk about today. Here it is in the back of me is Kagan Bayo. This Bayo flows right on into Braze Bayo. And I did an issue on yesterday about Braze Bayo. And I showed you way before the news station showed 610 and Post Oak being a hazard. The Weather Channel, that's all they showed. But let's talk about Kagan Bayo here. This water is flowing. It's flowing all the way down to get to Brazewood. And that is going to dump all of this water that you see flowing coming from Sugar Land, coming from Mo City, coming out this way. Plus, over there, you got a water pipe, a big old water container that is filled up. So therefore, the water cannot circulate on the streets. That's why your streets are flooded. Because the water sewage line, as you see, is covered up with uh, water. And this water gonna flow all the way on down to get to Brazewood and Gaston. Right there, it's gonna dump all of this water that you see flowing gone this way into Braze Bayo. And Braze Bayo affects the whole south side of Houston, Texas. That's how important the Braze Bayo is. And today, as you can see, I'm out here, so therefore it ain't raining. So we got a break. When we get a break like this, that means this water is circulating and no water is dropping back in. So it's continue taking this water out of the Brazos River and out of river, out of the Brazos River and also out of Sugar Land in Mo City and coming back towards this way from Highway 6. Out this way. And it's taking it right on down the way so it can connect it to Braze Bayou. And Braze Bayou is the center point here on the south side of Houston. And Braze Bayou also has connection that ties in to what they call Sims Bayou, which is Harlem Clark, South Park, and Sunnyside. That's why 288 Third Ward is backed up because what happened was Braze Bayou cannot take all the water that Sims Bayou is trying to force in there. So therefore, what happens? The water go over. When it goes over, it's going over toward Third Ward. That's why you got Third Ward streets are flooded. And also, by the time this Braze Bayou we talking about, because we know this is Kagan. But Braze Bayou that I did a special on yesterday. See, I'm doing things the television station don't have time to do. You know, I hate to say it, but the television station scares a lot of people. At least I'm talking personally for me. You know, they make it seem like it's worse than what it really is. Still, of them coming out here to Kagan Bayou and doing this segment that I'm doing, they ain't got time. They want to show negative things, people getting drowned, people cars going under, people coming down the street, doing silly, stupid stuff, still are coming here and showing you the importance of this bio, Kagan. 
This bio Kagan is the bio that controls Bray's bio. And Bray's bio controls the south side of Houston. And we're talking about the south side. Okay, let's go. West University. I showed you the di I showed you the video on it yesterday. Okay, therefore you got the medical center. I showed you that video yesterday. And then you also got the Museum of Fine Arts over there. Then on the other side, you got NRG Stadium over there. So Bray's Bio is a part of Houston. Then you got Rice University over there. Then you got Texas Southern over there. Then you got University of Houston over there. Everybody depends on Bray's Bio, but they never show you what brings the water on to Bray's Bio. And here it is, Kagan Bio. And the last two years, a couple of television stations been mentioning Kagan Bio, but how many have came out here and showed you Kagan Bio? And I appreciate all the people who have supported me and, and make me want to come out and do the things that television stations don't want to do, you know. And I, and I, you know, whatever reason they is, they find breaking news more important than showing the solution. They showing you the problem. But here is the solution right here at Kagan Bayo. Look at it. As you see, I'm on the higher ground. I'm on that ground, on the higher ground, just like when I showed you yesterday video on West University. One part of West University on the left-hand side of Brazewood is higher, and higher than the other side. And this is the same situation. I'm on the high side of Kagan Bayo. That is the low side of Kagan Bayo, as you see over there in the back. Okay, as we go down Kagan Bayo here, okay, all of this water you see that's coming down this way is coming from Missouri City, Sugar Land, and the Brazos River. All of this water here. Okay, as we go around, I'm gonna show you how our neighborhood get flooded. And uh, the Homeowners Association, I, I will show you a clip of where the bio is caving in on the other side. Something that, uh, this is in Precinct 7, which is Rodney Ellis Precinct. And I know Rodney would come out here and make sure Harris County Flood Control come out here and fill up that big old empty hole up there. I don't, I'm not gonna even go up there because it's dangerous. You can fall in. And as I show you, I zoom in right over there where you see the zoom in is on the other side of that fence is caving in. This is the reason why I'm gonna show you our neighborhood is flooded. Now, I'm gonna show you something. See these trucks over here? These here, uh, dirt trucks, they're not trying to fix the bio. They down the street fixing some sidewalk. They could care less about Kagan bio. It ain't their problem because the flood control people haven't had anybody to come out here and do this by your right. They're waiting for somebody to die or get drowned out here. I'm telling you how G.O. go. And I'm Boo Lee ain't going to lie to you. Okay, right here, as we go in here, I'll show you. See right here? I'm going to go right into it. I'm going to show you exactly how this stuff go. And for all our homeowners association, they need to see this because we pay them a tremendous amount of money but then they claim like they can't do anything about it. And I know Mr. Rodney Ellis, our county commissioner, he is doing a fantastic job taking over for Frank O'Lee and also from Gene Law. Okay, right here, as you can see, the water is coming here into the neighborhood. All of these trucks, all of this equipment, they not fixing on that bio, no. They fix it on some sidewalks down the road. They could care less about that bio here. Okay, as you can see, now right there is where the water seeks into the neighborhood and it's coming in. We're coming right on into it. See right here, it's coming in the neighborhood. And it already messed up that swimming pool over there. 
at a swimming pool got to be redrained. But they'll probably close it down since school is get already open. Okay. See, Kagan Bayo flow right into the neighborhood. Okay. There it is, right here. You can see it for yourself. As I zoom in on it. There you go. There it is. See, it's past that water is past that fire hydrant. And as we go down here, and we'll show you, this is the neighborhood that is already flooded in. You can't get in, you can't get out. Okay, as we go down here, right here is still the neighborhood. See how deep it is? It's very deep here, real deep. Now, as we get down here, we're going down the street. And here you go. This is my street. See how this here is it's already flooded in. Yep, it's flooded in all the way. See, all of this street is flooded in. And what did it come from? All of the water came from that Cajun Bayou because they have not fixed that Cajun Bayou properly. So to protect the uh, residents over here in Brayburn Valley West. And as you can see, it is flooded, completely flooded. Flooded out, this street is flooded out. And all of this water have came from Kagan Bayo. As we walk through here and show you, the street is completely flooded. Now in the back of the street, the bayou is in good shape. But in the front of the street, as you can see yourself, it is flooded. It is really flooded. See, there it is. This is a street called Tule Drive. There it is, see yeah. As we come in, you could tell the low spots here, right here, as we walk it through here. Going down this street, as it's flooded in, down here on Tule Drive. See, it's coming in. See, it ain't got to the people houses yet. No, thank goodness, as long as it stopped raining like it is now, we got a chance of this water draining down and some of the water that's on the street will be able to as drain As you can out. see, here come a fool in the truck. We're gonna, we're gonna take this fool. Cause no telling what he finna do. I know one thing, he ain't finna put no water on me. I know he is finna turn around. He ain't no damn fool. That's the good part about this flood. We ain't got to worry about these fools flying down the street, running over one of these kids or somebody. This is live. This is Boo Lee. I'm showing you how it really G-O go. Today, coming after Hurricane Harvey. Boo Lee telling you about Hurricane Harley. Harvey. Because after all, Houston, Facebook family, look, we didn't have no winner at all. One week of winter. And the Gulf of Mexico hadn't had no cold water in it. And then had the nerve enough in February and spring, which is March, had the nerve to get up 80 to 85 degrees. And then in April, May, and June, 90. June, July, and part of August, 100 degrees. So the Gulf of Mexico was waiting on some water. And trust me. Precinct 7, which is uh, 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 Rodney Ellis, they'll straighten it out. But see, Rodney don't know nothing about this because the flood control ain't put it on his desk. Uh, we called flood control like four years ago. We called the stuff. Hey, we're going to get out of here before I hit Yeah, y'all going to get out of here because it's getting bad. Y'all be safe here. Yeah. Now, you've been calling flood. You've been calling flood. Also flew out like four or five years ago before Memorial Day, before all that stuff. Did they reply to you at all? Oh, yeah, they're like, we're putting it on the list. Okay. It's going to be on the list. Yeah, we're we put it on there, and it has to get done in the order that it's on there. It's like, well, there's a huge hole behind my house. It's a huge hole behind your house? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. caving in, too? Yeah, where, the, where one culvert is blown out, and there's another one that blew out over there, too, so this doesn't drain because it's not going into the bio. That, exactly. 
Okay, thank you so much.